All right, so today I'm going to do a mathematical experiment. I'm going to first fill this sink up with water until it overflows right here. And then I'm going to see how long it takes for it to drain at the same level. And then with those two pieces of information, I'm going to predict how long it would take to drain the sink as well as uh, fill it up, well, drain the sink while it's being filled up with water. And uh, let's see if it works. Okay, we're back. And it uh, looks like it's just going to be a little over five minutes, probably. Let's see. It's just pretty interesting because the example in the book was pretty close to five minutes, too. So, All right, here we go. And five and a half minutes, more likely. Surface tension there is probably good. And stop. So about five minutes, 35 seconds. Okay. All right, so now it's completely full. It took about five and a half minutes. That's what I'm going to round to. Um, and now I'm going to see how long it takes to drain the whole thing. Okay, we're ready, Sarah. One, two. Uh, okay, go. Oh wow, that's taking no time at all. Jeez. We'll say it was about 45 seconds to make it simple. Okay, so it took five and a half minutes to fill and only about 45 seconds to drain. So now with that information, I'm going to predict how long it will take to drain while it's being filled up. My guess is it'll probably only take a minute or so instead of 45 seconds. Okay. So, I timed how long it would take to fill and drain. I put it in this chart, and in order to find out how long that would take, I need to find out T. Uh, now, this shouldn't say together, it should say the difference, but whatever. Now, I converted it to uh, the amount it filled up the sink per minute, and uh, the amount it drained the sink per minute. Now, it didn't even take a full minute to drain, so I converted it into this fraction down here. Um, so I created this equation, and because I don't like fractions in the denominator, I converted it to 2 over 11 and 4 over 3, found the common denominator, which is 33, multiplied everything by 33 and t, which gave me this down here. Now, I should have just subtracted 6t from 44t, but whatever. So I did that down here instead which gave me 38t equals 33 and then I divided by 38 both sides multiplied it by 60 which which I did converting it back to seconds and it gave me 52.1 seconds so I just rounded it down to 52 Hey, wow, that was pretty right on almost. I wasn't able to stop it um, because my hands were full, but it looked like right at about between 52 and 53 seconds, and uh, 33 thirty-eighths of a minute is 52.18 something something something. So yeah, that was pretty neat.